Uh, do you have a little fun fact? Anything to take my mind off the snow? Oh, yes. Let's Great. talk about snakes. We've been on kind of a... Oh. Our fun facts <laughs> have been... <laughs> I just realized how that sounded. Great. Yeah. Uh, but our fun facts have lately been a lot about how uh, animals survive the winter. And I think snakes are a great example because uh, snakes are also cold blooded, like the frogs and turtles we've talked about before. But they don't have those adaptations of the wood frog. So they're trying to avoid freezing solid at all costs. And in Canada, that means burrowing fairly deep underground because you have to get below the frost line and you have to stay there for the winter. So those dens that snakes make and maintain are called hibernacula, which is pretty fitting. Uh, but depending on the size of them, they can be dozens to hundreds, even thousands of snakes in a single den sharing the same space and trying to stay a little bit warm. Uh, now in BC, the garter snakes range extends as far north as the Nass and Skeena watersheds. That's pretty far uh, up up in the up along the north coast. Uh, and so uh, from the, according to the BC government, it's hard to find suitable dens. You know, you need to, uh, entrance has to be hidden in bedrock or large boulders where predators can't dig up the snakes. So they're hard to find. So the snakes all gather together. But that means in the spring, when it's a little bit warmer and it's time for all those snakes to come out, it's quite a sight. I, I sent a video, Amy. Did you did you have a chance to watch it? It was incredible. I, yeah. I actually forgot about it. I blocked it out. I, I watched know. it this morning when you sent it out. Yeah, it's a, it's just a whole mat along the ground mm -hmm. of just these wriggling snakes. And as they all emerge, they get ready to uh, mate because it's their mating season in the spring. And they form what's called mating balls. And uh, I think that oftentimes scientists name things in sort of these weird technical terms. And people are like, why are you bought? I think mating balls is like very <laughs> accurate. Very to the point. Fair. You've got one larger female swarmed by as many as 100 males. And, you know, it's quite a sight to behold. It's actually an attraction in just north of Winnipeg where uh, they often take school trips up there in the spring. Um, Sarah Penton was just telling me about that. <laughs> I can't think of anything less I would like to think about to take my mind off the snow. Uh, come on, snakes or snow? <laughs> what, what do you want, Amy? I'm not sure. I <laughs> We'll see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Darius. <laughs> Thank you. Darius Madavi is our CBC News science and climate specialist. <laughs>